Paul Rubin and I'm an audiobook producer working here at Elite Studio for Random House, uh, Penguin Random House. And I must say, this is one of the best studios I've worked at. Uh, the sound quality is great. Um, and uh, I have really never felt quite so welcome uh, in a studio uh, before as I have here. So I'm almost ready to move from New York to Miami. Penguin Audio presents An American Son. Written and read by Senator Marco Rubio. This is Senator Marco Rubio. November 2nd, 2010. We're calling it for you. At exactly 8 p.m. Eastern time, Brendan Farrington, an Associated Press reporter, turned to me and spoke those words. Seconds later, the AP report flashed simultaneously on multiple television screens. Fox News called the election as well confirming the consensus that I would be the new senator from Florida. What used to be the domain of only the privileged and connected is now accessible to all of us, regardless of race, gender, education, age, or circumstance. We all have access to the tools and resources needed to create a lifestyle that we desire. We live in a time when you can embrace your difference, do what you love and follow your passion. My own life is a testament to these times and just one example of the possibilities that abound for anyone with a dream and the willingness to work hard to achieve it. Las horribles historias que papá me contaba por David Downey. Pasaron 10 minutos y después 20, hasta que finalmente mi papá pudo avanzar muy lentamente por una curva donde se encontró a un oficial de policía. ¿Qué tal, oficial? Saludó mi padre, que siempre intentaba ser amable con los oficiales de policía, aún estando enojado. ¿Sabe usted por qué el tráfico avanza tan lento? Claro. Contestó el oficial. Ha habido un accidente más adelante y tendrá que conducir con precaución por un lado del siniestro. The Promised Land because the Israelites had ticked God off, they did not get to go directly to the Promised Land. Instead, they wandered in the desert for 40 years, which is a lot of wandering when you think about it. Let's say for the sake of argument that a standard Israelite wanders 500 steps per day with an average distance of two feet per step. That works out to 1,000 feet per day. So for more than 40 years, even if they didn't wander at all on Shabbat, major Jewish holidays, Eli Weisel's birthday, and so on, the Israelites would wander about 12 million feet, which is more than 2,000 miles. I'm sitting on a cracked vinyl sofa, staring out at my abuela's restaurant from a tiny window while I await my sentence. The only thing I've learned from this crazy course of events is that no matter how much we try to believe David beat Goliath, the reality is that the big guy always wins. Even if the big guy is actually a five foot three flamboyantly dressed land developer with stupendously gelled hair. My little slingshot didn't even bruise his forehead. I also learned that love is a giant pretzel, twisty, salty. It leaves you dry and thirsty. <laughs> 